<clears throat> I'm Phoebe Waller-Bridge. <laughs> First kiss was at a disco um, and <clears throat> it was spin the bottle and uh, I think I, we were the first two to land the, the first spin and um, we decided we wanted to do it in private so everybody respectfully allowed us to go down a stairwell and it was really really dark and all I remember is his little voice going are you sure you want to do this and I was like yes and then I just like heard these like shuffly footsteps coming towards me and I was both terrified and exhilarated and he did it and it was disgusting and marvellous. Boy zone. I know it was boy zone. I can't remember what it was but I remember how it made me feel. A bit like I'd made the wrong choice of band because when I went uh, to school I remember they, uh, this girl came up to me and she was like are oh, you take that or boy zone? And she said it so seriously, and I hadn't heard either of the bands, so I just said Boyzone, and then I got stuck with the Boyzone girls, and actually the whole time I think I'd actually prefer to take that uh, to Boyzone. Sorry, Boyzone. But now I had, I had their album, and I had to learn all their lyrics, and then at the like school discos I was on the Boyzone side, <laughs> wishing I was on the Take That side. No love me for one girl, no be the one girl. Love me for a reason. <laughs> Let the reason be love. It was black and it was very low cut and I think I was wearing like half a chicken in it. <laughs> oh, Peter Pan. Cyberflea2000 at hotmail.com. Oh my God, I can't remember that. I mean, it was, how does one remember their first hangover? Family pet, fizzy, little fluffy poodle situation. But I had Chip and Dale, who were two budgies. Dale attacked Chip, and then Chip had to go into intensive care. First date, um, strangely, I can't remember the name of my, the guy I went on the first date with, but I can, but he brought his friend Louis, who I strangely can remember more clearly. Uh, so me, Louis, and, went on a date to the cinema together and uh, obviously Louis was the more memorable of the two. First audition was for a, um, a summer school in America actually. Uh, I was trying to get into a summer school and I had chosen a monologue that uh, the monologue began at the moment of impact of a car accident <laughs> with this this woman in the moment that she uh, is hit by another car and it was just basically a stream of gobbledygook consciousness that ended up with me standing on a chair um, rising to heaven and obviously I had to explain all that after I'd finished the monologue um, to, to, the, to the freaked out guy at the back of the room. Got in there, 